Hello everybody and welcome to this part where we will talk about the regulation of body weight, weight and how it's dependent on energy intake and energy expenditure. Now in our body there's three main ways that energy is actually expended. The first is the resting metabolic rate which accounts for about 60 to 75 percent of our energy expenditure. Now whilst you're sitting down watching this video uh, your body is still consuming energy to maintain your basic cellular functions uh, so there's still metab metabolism that's occurring and that is your resting metabolic rate. Now when we have more lean body mass so we have more muscle we tend to have a greater resting metabolic metabolic rate. Uh, so those people that take part in exercise, strength training programs generally tend to have a higher resting metabolic rate as compared to a sedentary individual who, con who contains mainly uh, fat. And that's because compared to fat, uh, muscle is much more, um, it, it uses much more calories. Okay, It's basically uh, a much more, uh, it's got a greater energy use compared to, to fat. Okay, so uh, it's better, it's much more favorable if you want to increase your energy expenditure to, to take part in uh, training, which increases your uh, muscle mass as well, because you will be using much more uh, calories in uh, if you have more muscle as compared to fat. The thermic effect of food. Now, generally when we eat, we, we need to process that food. So there's a number of digestive processes processes that occur, peristalsis being the muscular contractions pushing that food along, uh, but even you know the churning of the food, the enzymatic breakdown of the food all requires energy. That's about five to 10%. We don't have any control over that. The body, it's an involuntary process that the body uh, regulates by itself, but it's the amount of energy needed to digest, absorb, uh, transport the food that we've actually eaten, um, and that contributes to five to 10%. Then the, the third f main factor that contributes to our energy expenditure is the thermic effects of activity. So this we can vary because this is the amount of energy that we can expend doing a particular activity. And, and that might be, for example, as simple as brushing your teeth and sitting down watching TV uh, or running a 10K race or doing something even more than that. So we can manipulate the thermic effect of activity. We can manipulate to an extent the resting metabolic rate as well by changing um, the uh, amount of lean body mass that we have. And essentially what we're trying to do with energy intake and expenditure is to try and balance the, these two um, uh, variables. Because if you have an energy imbalance of just 20 kilocalories a day, that can lead to about a, you know, a 0 0.9 kilogram per year increase in your weight. So over five years, that would equate to about 4.4 kilos. Okay, So just an energy imbalance of 20 kilocalories a day of your energy intake versus expenditure. Okay, Now that's quite a small um, imbalance. Normally we have a much greater uh, imbalance than that, particularly if you're a sedentary individual. Uh, but you can see here that these, this kind of energy balance uh, equation here is quite straightforward. If your expenditure, or sorry, your intake is greater or heavier than your expenditure, you're going to be going on that road towards obesity, and it will be vice versa if you if your expenditure is greater than your intake. Um, and hopefully, I hope you can see this uh, figure here. This is just a figure showing the kind of changes that happen with uh, in terms of our gain in body fat as we go through each decade of life. And essentially what happens is when we're young, so we're in our 20s, uh, our eating, physical activity and basal metabolism is quite high. But as we start to get older and life's responsibilities start shifting, physical activity levels start to go down. You're probably going to be carrying less lean body mass. So your basal metabolic rate will reduce as well. It will also reduce through other reasons, not just through the muscle mass, uh, but the two are intricately related. Uh, but your eating habits stay the same. So the two things that can make a big impact on your energy expenditure go down dramatically, but you carry on eating at similar levels to you did, that you did when you were younger, maybe if not it more. And so your body fatness starts to increase and you get this phenomena of creeping obesity. So you, you look at old photos, you know, you speak to uh, older people and they look, you look at photos from 20, 30 years ago and they look really slim. Uh, this process has happened gradually and it constitutes to quite a large gain in, in weight. I've referenced a paper 
uh, which uh, talks about uh, obesity and how our environment can contribute to uh, this kind of energy imbalance as well. It's an interesting read. It's well worth uh, clicking through on that research paper to get some more information.